Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series all about Railway 2 train networks. I'm putting in functioning railway infrastructure and in this video I'll be putting in the CIM Freight Elevated Rail and Docks. If you see your truck traffic backing up like this, you can make the road around the Miyagi Motors factory complex one way. I leave these two roads, two-way roads. I'm also going to stretch a road to the back. And I'll make that one way as well. There's two little assets that I didn't put in with this. One is this little car lot. And the other one is the little logo. I'll also be converting this line into a two line cargo line out to here and I'll be taking this rail through here. When I put in this road I level the ground out to 150. This is 180. So I'll be coming up 30 meters up this hill. And the first thing I want to do is put in a seawall. These come with the Bridges and Piers Content Creator Pack. And you'll need Anarchy on for this. So using find it, we'll type CIM freight all together. These are the five buildings that come with the asset pack. There's 11 assets in all and one required mod, which is barges, cargo ferries. This first building is for your barges or cargo ferries. We're going to put in the CIM Freight Cargo Harbor first. The blue line means that cargo ships can come in. If it's red, they can't get in. And I want to leave room for one more in case I want to expand one day. So I'm going to delete this road back here. And 
And I also want to put in a tiny little two-way road about 30 units back. We'll just go 25. And we actually want this to be a one-way road. This is the CIM Freight Station 1. We'll put it in last. This is the through station, which I'm not going to use now, but I'll show you what it looks like. And you'll want to select your Railway 2 tracks. In this case, we'll be using wired gravel concrete, 2x2 two two standard entry, elevated. You'll place your cursor right on the pedestrian path of the road. And bump it up against the cargo harbor. This asset is the same as this asset, only the train tracks come through from another station. Or they go out to somewhere else. So we can see these start to work, and so that our trucks don't disappear, we'll go ahead and bring this across. I'm going to take the road straight out of this cargo harbor. You might want to raise your road up a bit, or you could leave this the way it is. I'll be putting in the CIM Freight in station. This also has the Railway 2 2x2 two two standard entry elevated stations. And I'm going to put in two of these. In order to put in this asset, the Freight Station 1, I'm going to need a little road. And you might want to unselect road snapping. Now I'll put in this station. It needs Railway 2, 2x2 two two elevated.
that it plops against the road to the left. This is a full set of the assets, except for the through stations. You can add as many of these and in any configuration as you want. I'll trim this back, but I do want a piece of road. Now I'll continue to use one-way road connect these up. This needs to be going the other direction. And I'll trim up that road on the back end. Now we'll take a two-way road out of this complex. Now we'll be using Railway 2, two-way, noted track. You'll want to select Bridge. And I'm going to take these all the way up to the road so that I get pillars all the way to the road. And then across the road so I get another pillar. We want to keep these straight if we can. The pillar that's over the road is not going to come in. This is a really steep incline and I might bring this down just a bit. I'm going to bring it down three.
these two aren't straight. We'll have to take those out straight. We'll level those out with Network Multi-Tool. I'm going to go ahead and delete out this piece of road and the station. We won't need it anymore. You've noticed that we have two different kinds of catenaries. This is a wider catenary than this one. And if you looked at catenaries, the one that's selected is default. This other catenary, it's the Railway to USA Pennsylvania Railroad Girder B Double. These actually should be default. Just little details that I'll need to fix someday. These are the double girders. And I'll just change these out while I'm here. I had the wrong catenary in when I laid this track down. Now we'll use the set slope mode and we'll start about here, come back down. I'm going to use horse ground. Let me check my catenary. I have the default on. These changes are permanent, so if you do anything wrong, you'll have to start all over again. I'm going to take this track in an angle. And I'm going to connect this one in and this one in. My track being at 180 degrees. And here I'll be using Railway 2, 2x2 two two nodeless track. 
Might check my catenary. We probably need this one. We'll see. Now we'll do some detailing. I'm going to take this track and bend it in. What you do not want to see is this doubling of the track here. This track is coming in smooth, but this is doubled. There's a space, a black space there, but we want to move this out just a bit till those go away. I don't worry about the glitches more than the track. And for these, I use move it again. And I'm going to hold down on Alt and snap this out. And I might snap this one out one unit. And now you see that we can put in the catenaries that are necessary there. We'll stay with the nodeless track. And we'll put on the default catenary. Here here and here this one we might put to none you see there's no wires there we do want the wires that's this one this one has no poles you can see the wires come in And we have the double catenaries on this side. Just a few more that I didn't get. This is the little train that comes with this pack of assets. This is the LTE 6400 CIM freight train with 10 cars. You'll be able to download this train when you download the set of assets for the Cargo Harbor. And we've got some bumps here we need to fix. Sometimes you're just going to have to do these manually. Sometimes holding Alt and shifting these back and forth corrects those little errors. Sometimes it makes it worse. Have to be careful on your crossovers. This is not a crossover with nodeless track and you can see that the crossover is not quite as detailed. Sometimes if you're far enough away you can connect these up and they'll be okay. This particular node 
we might be able to move it a bit and get rid of the glitch. And sometimes you just need to start over. There's so much technically going on with these tracks that they're a little bit finicky. They're a little hard to work with, but I think they're worth it. When you start to see this happening, sometimes you can fix it with move it, sometimes you can't. Basically, it's because we do not have a nodeless connection here. Before you connect your nodeless, you want to straighten this up. And now we'll use nodeless track for this. It's a very close connection. Really requires nodeless in this particular instance. And you can see how I have the doubling on this end. That's a good connection. Most people will bend this out and bend this one in and they'll have a snake curve going into this. I like to take no controller hold down on alt and snap those. And we should see cargo start to come in. Want to make sure you don't have any little errors here. This is quite the incline.
inside these warehouses you'll see in the inside that the trucks are going up into the station there was one coming down if you look from above you'll see the trucks coming in they're also coming in over here and they're dropping off the cargo to load up trains on these two tracks here comes our train this is going to distribution center rail one when cargo ships start to come in you'll see them fill in this station through these doors on the bottom and if you look at the spawn points this first one here is for your service vehicles you can see the little white dot come into there at your service vehicles this is for the train station on the inside and this last one is for another cargo train on the outside and i've used these before and put the rail here and i've never seen trains come out of it but if you have a lot of cargo ships it'll eventually go to those as well Here comes our first cargo ship. Here's another train. Must be coming out of the fishing industry. It's going out of town. And another train. Going to Miyagi Railway Pass 1. I don't know if you can see the trucks going up into the station. It's kind of hard to see. also like to name these so I know where the cargo is coming from And also name these.
Here's a few trucks that might be going into this warehouse. They are. We're going to start to fill up this station as well. Wasn't able to get to that one. To find out where it's coming from. Thank you for watching This Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.